guys in today's video I am bringing you guys um, outside to show you what I've been working on I've decided that um, I'm going to group all six of my um, columnar juniper spiral topiaries together to give my place a bit of a whimsical look and also I'm moving some boxwood to sort of build a boxwood head in a very tiny area so let's go ahead and I will show you what I've been moving um, it's very tiring these trees are so heavy <laughs> So yeah, so let's go ahead and get started Hey guys, so before there were like I think about four uh, spirals right there I've actually added two more. I've moved two more over there um, And then I'm also going to I have these sort of winter gem boxwoods I have a old old video where I talked about the boxwoods that I have but I have four winter gem boxes from Monrovia. Uh, two of them are here in this main Fairfield planner that I got a while back. And then two here that I'm going to be moving to the side there because I want to create an area where I have a garden all year round. Okay, so let me actually go to where we're going to be working today. So, so the tulips here are all done. There is a hydrangea right here. Um, and then there's like, um, this was here way before I bought this house. So I'm actually gonna move all these hostas. Um, I need to, I'm gonna move them elsewhere because I need to plant, I want something else here. Um, so these are the hostas, they get really, really big. So I'm going to divide them. Yeah, and then I'm going to actually move some other um, boxes that I have to create a box with a hedge around here. Thank you. 
Hey guys, so this is what I've been up to. I have added, um, I've moved all the junipers um, together. So there's about six. So there's one here, and then you can see all the other ones right here. Um, like I said, I want I want to give my place a bit of a bit of whimsy and some sort of formality, right? So I'm moving things around. Now I have three different kinds of boxwood. I you can already tell the difference. So this here. Do you see how I love, love these? These are Tide Hill boxwoods, and these are very, very good in my zone, which is 6B. Um, a lot of houses here have it, and when they get bigger, it's, like, really, really amazing. And then I have a mixture of, like, um, Winter Gem and... Um, and Green Mountain uh, boxwoods here. Uh, those are the three main ones that I use a lot. So, like for me, the favorite here is this one right here, right? And I have, I don't know how many I have here, but yeah, they're growing in nicely. So what I've done is that I've just, um, I, I, I actually planted them in layers, right? So this one here is actually taller than the. Um, the tide hill uh, boxwood and then I move the bigger ones here I just planted these these big ones uh, the winter gem that I had in uh, in the pot I moved them here because I wanted to create another layer here um, so let me stand here for you to see what I am so when you see here I made a straight line and I want to plant some lavender, like something that's going to be really, really tall. I want something purple uh, to sort of um, be taller than these two here, just to give it a, a bit more color, okay? And then here, I moved all the houses that were here i need i've ordered a shaper from etsy because i'm ter i'm very very bad at shaping uh boxwood so i need something that can help me shape them into the form that i want so i ordered some stuff from etsy hopefully it does help okay so i moved um all the um houses that are here um and i divided them and i used them as a border let me show you they're right here I use them as a border right here um, hopefully it takes about a week for them to take so I use them as a border right here you know and I'm actually gonna I have so many houses that I'm actually going to divide just to follow I'm gonna follow the shape of my lawn and I'm gonna use them as the border right so I divided all of them and here they are I think I get about 20 25 out of them I divided all of that yeah so going back here so when the shaper comes um i want this to grow and fill in so that i can actually just do like a formal nice uh round hedge here um but for now this summer or this planting season i'm actually going to put some impatience in here to add a bit of color um as i've seen based on what i've been researching and um just to make it look a little bit nice okay and then i also planted some boxwoods in the lawn don't mind me i'm just crazy all of these boxwoods here needs to be shaped okay all the boxwoods here all the boxwoods here needs to be shaped and then i have some here i have to water the lawn <laughs> and then i have some here right so what i'm going for is that um i have the um I have this here I have this little um, I think it's called little gem spruce standard I don't know I I will link I'll find it and I'll write it down below in the description I have it here because look at the Japanese maple right there so when you pull in right your eyes go directly to the Japanese maple and I wanted to add a contrast right so this here it's like really really nice as you come in so what I need to do is that I need to rest a little bit and I want to shape all of these I actually want to make them like square I want to edge them like into a square form all these little things that I have here um, and then I want to plant some impatience around them right here and then let's come here now I do like I said I have a lot of hostas all of these are going to be moved to be used as the border here um, I do have a lot of weeds in here, so I'm actually, I have to clean this, um, 
these uh, this bed here and this gets about 10 or 12 hours of sun so I'm gonna plant some dahlias in here um, I'm gonna plant some dahlias in here and then I also want to get more boxwoods and create more circular hedge right around hedge here I think I'll probably need about um, 30 or 25 I don't know yet I'm probably gonna get the little little ones that are very fast growing but look at how many houses I can actually get out of these big big houses they actually get really really big okay look at these okay I can divide this and this actually can just like it's gonna help with the um, um, it's gonna help fill everything in so once I dig all of this in and I clean the bed I'm like I have I think I have um, I ordered some dahlias I've already come and I'm going to plant them around here and then I'm also gonna get the boxwoods just to create a nice border and then the lavender that I am actually gonna put here so I'm actually really excited um, I can't wait to see how it's gonna look I want to get this side done because of the way my place is I'm working in sections otherwise I, I, I'll be a mess so hopefully this gets done and then no not hopefully it's gonna get done and then i'm gonna move to another section my reading area because that's where i moved all the boxwoods from um because i want to actually plant um a lot more colorful flowers there like perennials because a lot of people when they come here they like to sit over there have wine and maybe i'm thinking i can have a fire there and just have a lot more flowers because i also put a birdhouse there so <laughs> yeah so this is it right here this is what i've been doing this is what i've been up to and i hope you like it you know i hope you like it i just love evergreens evergreens to me when winter comes just gives me such joy you know so yeah so yeah so this is it i love i i love i think i'm actually gonna get more um junipers the spiral ones i love them these ones are big like really really big and they've grown i need to shave them i haven't shaped anything so um, it's not perfect right now but look at how massive these things are and look at how they are in contrast to the boxwoods right look at that and just love 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 them so yeah so stay tuned okay so much for watching i hope you enjoyed the video and found something useful about it um if you have please consider subscribing so that you don't miss another upload from me uh like it share it and just know that i do appreciate it all right thank you again and i shall see you in my next video bye